Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something absolutely incredible to take a look at today. This is something I've been really hyped about, and I would imagine anybody that is a fan of Arctic figures would also be hyped about. We've got both the male and female Tyrannosaurus Rex figures here to take a look at. These are actually the 138th scale versions there is also a 112th and 118th scale version the 112th is kind of like a special edition type thing he makes every once in a great while and these two figures here are also making their debut into the arctic figures line with the indiegogo campaign as this scale was previously unavailable in the arctic figures line as well as the buck which was completely unavailable until the indiegogo campaign of course that's a brand new figure as we did previously have the female you know, uh, released in the Arctic Figures line, but the male was not released in that line. So very exciting to have both a male and female Rex from Arctic Figures here. And honestly, they look incredible here in person. And I definitely notice, I know he has uh, begun using a different type of resin, and I can definitely notice a feeling of a much higher quality when it comes to the feel of these figures. And I thought the other ones were already really high quality, but I could definitely feel a higher quality uh, resin that he's used for these newest ones. So that is really exciting as well. And on top of that, we have a look here at the Rex card, the female. You can see there's like some gook and stuff on it. That's from me pulling the tape off. I have to clean that off, but I uh, just pulled it off right now as I was beginning the review. So a little bit late to do that, but you can see that we have a really cool, super awesome and very vintage looking, obviously very iconic look at the Rex right after it kills the Gallimimus and it's beginning to eat it. And obviously these cards have been pretty much stylized by the older Jurassic Park cards. And I absolutely love love that because they are you know pretty much picture perfect as far as the style of artwork that we had seen associated with Jurassic Park and the artist that is creating these four Arctic figures is phenomenal definitely doing one incredible job and you can also see again Tyrannosaurus Rex figure as well as the Arctic figures logo right there and then if we turn it around you can see that we have all sorts of information as well as even a little dino trivia here on the back of the card Again, both figures look great here. These are the unpainted versions. I know he's going to be offering painted and unpainted, but I think the painted are a little bit more limited than the unpainted versions will be. So I have both of the unpainted versions. And what's really exciting, as you can see, is they stand really, really nicely for being, you know, articulated figures like this. Uh, they really do stand quite beautifully, and that's definitely a huge plus because you don't often see that when it comes to you know, articulated figures like this of theropods. The joints are normally a little bit loose. They kind of fall and crumble in the legs, and they actually don't do that, as you can see here. These ones stand really nicely, which is a huge, huge plus for these figures. But since these are the unpainted versions, what I'm going to do is paint them up myself, and then we're going to go ahead and get a closer look at both of these gorgeous models. So let's jump straight to that closer look as soon as both figures are painted up. Okay, so I've got my Tyrannosaurus painted up, but before I bring them in, I do want to show you guys something, because in the time that it took me to actually... Uh, take my unpainted Rexes and get them painted up. Arctic Figures had released uh, some very cool images of the cards for both Tyrannosaurus. So we've got a Buck Rex card, which you can see right here, which looks amazing. And then we've also got a Doe card. So on top of the Rexy card that we took a look at earlier in this video, we now also have, again, a Buck and Doe card, which is super, super cool. Definitely two incredible images to go with the already incredible Rexy card we saw earlier and on top of that we also have something else we've got this this is another release from arctic figures that you can get a hold of and if we open it up here and take a look at what's inside let me take it out of the way here for just a moment and pull it out we've got ourselves a rexy keychain and you can see it looks absolutely awesome it is a pinkish coloration you can keep it the pinkish color or you could of course paint it yourself and as you can see here we can articulate it so it does have an articulated jaw which is insanely cool to have a keychain of a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaur that has an articulated jaw and you can definitely see that detailing wise if my camera would get a nice shot of it here detail wise and everything it's super highly detailed just like the actual Tyrannosaur models themselves are boy my camera doesn't want to focus on it because it's such a bright color with this pink it really doesn't want to focus nicely on it but it's absolutely awesome another very cool addition to the arctic figures line definitely something to think about picking up and then here are my finished and painted tyrannosaurs from 
Arctic figures. First of all, we've got the dough, which you see right here, which if you've seen my paint jobs of Rexy and stuff in the past, you could definitely notice a difference here with the dough. I feel like the coloration pretty closely matches what the dough looks like because she has like some lighter brownish tones it seems more so than what Rexy has so I tried to kind of capture the appearance of the dough more so again than Rexy here when I get my hands on the 118th scale version of this Tyrannosaurus I'm giving that one the Rexy paint job but since I have the dough and the buck the male over here which we also have painted I wanted to go ahead and give them again the Lost World Jurassic Park color schemes here with the buck and doe coloration rather than you know like a buck and rexy it would have been just weird to do that so i figured it would be a great idea to give these both again the color schemes that they had in the lost world jurassic park and i'm pretty happy with the results of both so what we're going to do right now is jump straight to a closer look at both of these beauties so we will begin with the female with the doe and you can see again that as far as like screen accuracy goes this is so on point it is ridiculous it really does look again exactly as a jurassic park t-rex looks like or in this case as the far as my paint job goes a lost world jurassic park female tyrannosaurus goes again i'm not going to comment on the paint jobs of the figures because these were done by me so it's up to you to paint yours up or get the painted versions that he has available for this rex but as far as the sculpt goes again the detailing looks great you have some beautiful scale detail absolutely gorgeous looking texturing to the skin throughout every ounce of this rex and it is all very vibrant really really well done and again extremely screen accurate lots of creasing there in the eye socket there the eye itself is actually sculpted out beautifully the nostrils as well are sculpted really nicely you have that kind of like scoot like appearance as far as like those slightly larger almost like armored scales running down there along the top of the eye area down into the palette and it looks really good of course we have an articulated jaw which you can see as far as the rex goes we can actually open it pretty darn wide it can definitely go open really wide so you can get quite a few different lengths of course for your rex as far as the positioning of the mouth it's really up to you because it's fully articulated and you can put the mouth and pose the mouth wherever you would like and it's a little bit like stiffer than the previously released versions were when it comes to the arctic figures line like the raptor and gallimimus the jaw is stiffer on these tyrannosaurs because he's used a new material a new resin to make them a higher quality and i actually like the fact that the mouth is a little bit stiffer because the mouth isn't loose it doesn't fall it's very stable stays exactly where you put it which is a huge huge plus for these figures you can also see the inside of the mouth is incredibly highly detailed you've got the throat there in the back of the mouth again super nice looking detailing there on the inside of the mouth up there on the upper side as well as again the tongue and all the very nice detailing of the skin flaps here on the side of the mouth as per usual exactly the type of detail you would expect and the teeth as well are beautifully done like they look exactly as they look on the tyrannosaurus in jurassic park and the lost world jurassic park so he really did a phenomenal job on the overall sculpt and once you actually close the mouth again it closes perfectly and look at how nice it looks with the mouth closed as well really really cool looking I actually like looking at them right here from the front such a cool shot to look at them from the front and you can again see how nice the actual sculpt and detail is as well as how screen accurate the sculpt is on these tyrannosaurus when you look at them from pretty much every and any angle as you move down the course of the neck you can see all kinds of skin creases skin detail pretty much everywhere you would expect to see very nicely sculpted out skin detail it is beautifully done very very high quality sculpt you've got the throat down here you can see really nicely lots of skin wrinkles and everything there as well you've got a beautiful appearance to the back of the dinosaur you can really pick out the spinal column running down the course of the back you've got some osteo derms and stuff running down the course of the rex down into the back of the neck into the body they kind of taper off though as you move down as you lead into the dinosaur itself into like the primary body of the dinosaur i should say you can see the shoulder blade a little bit right there really nice arm sculpt you've got nice muscle definition as well as some more fantastic skin texture the fingers are really nicely sculpted out as are the nails and the nails are really nice and they look sharp so they look very high quality they don't have like a toy feel to them they have a high quality model feel to them which i really love that aspect as well and you can see the muscle definition is beautifully highlighted throughout the entire arm moving back into the 
stomach. You can pick up on the rib cage a little bit right there, as well as, again, the beautiful skin texture that is very, very nicely done throughout the course of the model. And you can also see some more kind of skin wrinkling increasing here. And one thing that's really exciting about his releases is the fact that he actually captured the entire way that the underside of a JP Rex looks perfectly. And so many times people often forget how that looks, but there is a really kind of specific style of scale detail running from the chest down into the stomach region that is associated with Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurs that again, so many people seem to consistently forget. But Arctic Figures captured that perfectly here on his version, yet again showing you just how much he pays attention to screen accuracy. You also have again the spinal column you can see right there as well as some more phenomenal skin texture moving down. You've got the hip bone right there very nicely elaborated. Beautiful muscle definition in this very large thigh as you move down. Lots of really nice skin detail. Again you've got the kneecap present right there and as you continue to move down you've got a great leg sculpt here and again a perfect looking tyrannosaur foot sculpt when it comes to a JP style Rex. That is just absolutely perfect with the scoots running down the toes very nicely sculpted out nails again the nails do genuinely look like they're sharp and then as we lead back up you can again see more of the incredible detailing as you lead out the length of the tail and you can see there is an absolute plethora of articulation as you lead out the length of the tail there's just so many different areas you can articulate your tyrannosaur not just in the tail because you have that through the entire body but of course the tail has like tons and tons of articulation and then the other side of course is going to look pretty much exactly the same especially when it comes to the sculpt it is very consistent on both sides the paint job again was done by me so hopefully it looks good hopefully it is uh, really doing the doe justice when it comes to the lost world jurassic park and uh it looks as good as it possibly could but Again, the sculpt is phenomenal, so no matter what, if you get the painted version, and uh, you'll get one painted by Arctic Figures themselves, or you can get the unpainted version like I did here, and then it's really up to you to paint it up however you would like. And then we've got the buck, and the buck is almost the same as the doe. Because the majority of the figure you're going to see is pretty much the same as what we had just seen on our female Tyrannosaurus. But one area that is completely different is from here up. So the male Tyrannosaurus from Jurassic Park have a very different appearance to the head sculpts compared to the females. And if I bring the female back up here... You can see how the male is a little bit shorter as far as the head sculpt goes. It's just a little bit thicker. The female is a little bit like longer, elongated and stuff. So there's definitely a very different appearance to the head sculpt of the male over the female. And yet again, Arctic Figures has done a phenomenal job of capturing that here in his version. He really, again, does a great job as far as screen accuracy goes. So you can definitely see the differences between the two. And another very important difference between the male and the female is that it has the male has a thicker neck you can see like more hanging skin off of the throat region of the male more so than what you see on the female and arctic figures definitely achieved all of the aspects of the male perfectly when it comes to the sculpt you can see again that we have that hanging skin that thicker neck we have that shorter and stockier head sculpt to our t-rex but another thing that is very important when it comes to the male that you will see if you pay attention to the lost world jurassic park especially when they're in the rv and the rex approach is them when they had the baby the infant inside and the tyrannosaurs are outside you see them looking through the window you'll immediately take notice to the wounds and stuff that the tyrannosaur has and that's something that you do often see associated with male tyrannosaurs from the lost world jurassic park and any type of jurassic park franchise so he actually has gone ahead and sculpted those wounds onto his male rex which is also awesome you can see we even have one over here right in that area so he did a great job yet again on the screen accuracy department and that's exactly what you want when it comes to a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World style collectible so again that's one awesome thing about Arctic Figures is that he takes so much time when sculpting and creating his models to make sure they are as screen accurate as possible and you can see that the detailing is just as beautiful just as highly detailed on the male as it was on the female again we can take that nice shot with the Rex looking us down staring us down which I absolutely love just like with the female we again have an articulated jaw which we can open very nicely of course it can go open quite a bit wider than this we saw here on the previous rex but you can see that 
The detailing and everything on the inside of the mouth is absolutely gorgeous. The teeth and everything look phenomenal. I did paint the inside of the mouth slightly different compared to the female just to continue to give them a little bit more difference. But of course, as you move down the course of the body again, the rest of the body is going to be very similar to what we had just seen on the female. As far as the sculpt and the overall appearance, you can again see the really nice muscle definition gorgeously sculpted out hands the rib cage the fantastic skin texture all of the muscle definition through the course of the legs and again the foot sculpts are great they really perfectly replicate a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaur foot sculpt and we even have dew claws and everything back there which I probably failed to mention with the female and then again tons and tons and tons of articulation leading out through the tail and just the fact that we have the male and female super articulated or hyper articulated as Arctic figures usually labels them, Tyrannosaurs now in this line is just so insanely cool. Probably two of my most prized possessions now, I would say, are these Tyrannosaurs. So I really, really recommend both of these. Again, definitely take part in the Indiegogo campaign if you can to get yourself some of these Tyrannosaurs. There is no way you'll regret it because both of these are gorgeous but of course one of the most important aspects of these figures usually is the fact that there is articulation that's one of the most exciting aspects of these releases so we already saw the jaw articulation you can see that we do have the articulated jaw but as we move down the course of the body you've got an articulated joint here 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 and here so you have four spots right here that articulate with your tyrannosaur to give it some really really nice really smooth articulation in the neck and basically allow you to articulate it however you would like and pose the rex wherever you would like as you move down you again have articulation in the shoulder and then the elbow two joints actually in the elbow as well as the wrist so you can very nicely and very smoothly articulate the arm and put it basically wherever you would like it can move all over the place the way that this is articulated you then have articulation in the midsection so you can kind of Move that, turn it, make the Rex go down, make the Rex go up. It's really up to you. You again just have lots of options as far as posing the Rex in the midsection as well. Then you've got the hip articulation. As you move down, you have a joint here in the knee, one above the knee and below the knee. So you've got some nice options there. You've also got one here, then down here again as well. So you've got Lots of opportunities to move the leg and display the leg however you would like. So tons of articulation there as well. And then as we move out into the tail, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different joints of articulation moving out into the tail, which again allows you to position the tail pretty much any way you would like and any position you could possibly imagine is possible with these tyrannosaurs which i again absolutely love how awesome the articulation is of these rexes that's one of the of course the biggest selling points to these incredible arctic figures tyrannosaurs is the amazing articulation that you have but again the fact that they are insanely screen accurate and really highly detailed also helps but as far as a size goes for the tyrannosaurs for the female, you were looking at lengthwise around, if I could keep it still with the tape measure kind of pushing against it, about 15 and a quarter inches or around 39 centimeters in length and then for a height. Now, of course, it depends on where you position your Tyrannosaur because I have it currently like this, but I could lift the head up a little bit further to change the positioning a little bit. But you're looking at in this position about five and three quarter inches or around the... 14 and a half closing in on 15 centimeter range for the male for a length you are looking at about 15 and a half inches or around 39 and a half centimeters now that's important to take note of because that shows you that the male is slightly larger than the female so again arctic figures making sure that there are differences and uh Pretty much the exact differences you would expect between the male and female. And then height-wise, again, for the positioning that the Rex is in, it's around the 5 and uh, 3 quarter inch, almost 6 inches at this point, 
or around 15 centimeters in height. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Clovisaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. And you can see that currently Mr. Papo T-Rex is in bad shape because he's got two angry Tyrannosaurs trying to take a few bites out of him. You can also at the same time see that they're kind of a similar size as far as the head sculpt goes, but you can definitely see the Arctic Figures versions are a little bit larger in the size department compared to the Papo Rex. And then for another size comparison, we have the W Dragon T-Rex and the Arctic Figures version. The W Dragon one is kind of listed as 135th scale, but one thing I think they've proven to us over the years is that this one was definitely larger than 135th scale because they've released another Tyrannosaur afterwards that was also 135th scale that was much, much smaller than this version. But you can see that the Arctic Figures versions are still really quite sizable, even in comparison to this quite large version from W dragon and then if you happen to have any other arctic figures releases this is the 118th scale velociraptor they've released next to the tyrannosaurus to help give you an idea of a size between these obviously these aren't to scale this one here is in scale with the again 118th scale tyrannosaur that they have but as far as these ones here that i have that i'm reviewing currently these tyrannosaurs are 138th scale so the size is definitely off but if you happen to have the raptor then this should help to give you an idea of the size between these two and then same deal goes for the Gallimimus. You can see the Gallimimus as well, again, is in 118th scale. So it doesn't size up correctly to the Tyrannosaurus here unless you buy the 118th scale Tyrannosaur. But these ones here, again, are the 138th scale versions. So you can definitely see, again, a size difference, quite nice size difference between these different figures. But if you have the Gallimimus, this yet again will help to show you the size. So these Arctic Figures 138th scale Jurassic Park, or should I say Lost World Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurs are both fantastic. And honestly, these are the type of collectibles we as collectors have been waiting for because to have really good articulated Tyrannosaurs like this, perfectly replicating the Jurassic Park versions, it really is a dream come true if you ask me. And again, to have so much articulation is just incredible because you have so many articulated joints through the entire model allowing you to pose and display this exactly as you want and they all work so smoothly so perfectly which is pretty much one of the biggest selling points of these models I would imagine is just the sheer amount of articulation that they contain and I'm really excited to have both of these in my collection again with so much articulation they're definitely the most articulated tyrannosaurs that I have in my collection but on top of that again they have an incredibly highly detailed appearance to them with such beautiful sculpting and detailing throughout and the detailing is extremely crisp which is always a great aspect to these releases because the detail just pops on the sculpt so nicely it really is quite vibrant and very crisp and I love that he went to such great lengths to give us, again, that exact look that you would like to see when it comes to the male and the female and the differences between the two. He did a great job on that aspect as well, showing off, again, the differences perfectly between both. So as a whole, these are two phenomenal releases and probably the best and most impressive releases from Arctic Figures yet, which is really saying something because this line has been amazing so far. So if you are interested in these, again, make sure you purchase these on the Indiegogo campaign currently live from Arctic Figures. You will definitely not be disappointed. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.